Hi, my name is Heather Rhodes, and I'm a partner in Cummings & Lockwood's Private Clients Group. Many of our clients ask how they can incorporate charitable planning into their estate plan. And maybe you have that question as well. Charitable giving includes everything from outright direct gifts to public charities to more sophisticated trust structures like charitable lead trusts, charitable remainder trusts, and private foundations. A charitable lead trust is a trust structure that provides for distributions to a charity for a period of years or for your lifetime. And then at the end of the period, whatever's left in the trust is distributed to your family or other individuals that you wish to benefit. The most important thing about a charitable lead trust is that it includes both a charitable component and a family or beneficiary component. A charitable remainder unit trust is actually the reverse structure of a charitable lead trust. With a charitable remainder unit trust, either you or someone you name receives a distribution from the trust each year for a period of years or for your lifetime. And then at the end of that period, whatever's left in the trust gets distributed to a charity or charities that you select. A private foundation is a 501c3 tax-exempt charitable organization. And you may wish to consider creating a private foundation if you would like to consolidate your charitable giving and make distributions to charities that you select over time. A private foundation's principal activity is making grants to public charities and in some cases, awarding scholarships to deserving individuals. Private foundations are a good vehicle for families to begin to involve multiple generations in charitable giving and pass down family values. Feel free to get in touch with us if you have any questions regarding your charitable giving or how to incorporate it into your estate plan.